Hey guys, I hope everybody is doing really well. So welcome to today's reading, which is going to be for Twin Flames Divine Soulmate Connections, where there is a karmic element involved. As always, I will be doing the reading as if it is on the masculine side. So I will be doing this as if it is a karmic partner, but of course it could be a situation or just anything else. And of course, the messages that come through for the masculine and the karmic situation can also apply to the feminine as well all right so do keep that in mind um yeah this is general as always so also keep that in mind that it's not going to be everybody's situation and that is perfectly okay if you would like a personal reading you can find all that information in the description box and if you would like a cord cutting session and this is going to be especially beneficial for those of you who might feel like you are blocked from moving forward from past relationships, past traumas, past wounds, or just difficult relationships that seem to still be influencing you, all right? So if you have any more questions about those, you can email me or you can check out my community posts and find out more information about that. And yeah, okay, one more thing I want to say for those of you who do watch my Zodiac readings, you've probably noticed I was not able to post any um, Zodiac readings for mid-November. Now, I probably will be posting for December, um, but I might not continue after that doing the Zodiacs just because um, it's really, really time consuming and right now things are a little tight, so I really have to focus my energy on things that actually do bring in a little bit, <laughs> at least a little bit of a profit for me. Um, so yeah, just wanted to make sure that I let you guys know beforehand and however the good news is, is that if I do that then I might have a little bit more time to um, get out more of these types of readings um, they might be a little shorter but I can post like more specific themes or just just more specific stuff um, or maybe even just general love readings which can apply to a divine counterpart or it can just be in general but it can tap into more specific situations okay so now that all that is said and done let's get into this reading so we're going to be looking at the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation we're going to be looking at the masculine's energy towards their feminine and then any messages for the feminine as well as what is coming up in the near future all right so let's see for the masculines, what is going on? All right, and we have, ooh, all right, we have two Archangels. We have Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Camuel, which represent the fifth chakra and the third chakra, respectively. All right, so this would be the throat chakra and the solar plexus chakra. So the masculine is currently in an energy of actually expressing themselves, um, tapping more into their authenticity and wanting to be who they truly are, but also expressing this, like not holding back, not holding their thoughts in, not holding their feelings in, they are expressing this. And this is great because it's um, together with the solar plexus chakra, which is all about having that confidence and it does represent the divine masculine energy, actually, the third chakra. So yeah, wow. <laughs> this is um, very, very positive, a very positive start to this reading. But let's see, let's see what else we get. I'm just going to pull a few more oracle cards and then we'll get into the tarot cards. So let's see, what else is going on here with the masculines? We have reminder. Alright, so I do get that this is the masculine just really thinking about their feminine um if you are not in contact know that this is a message that your masculine has not forgotten about you not only that i'm getting that they're being reminded of you by the universe just with little synchronicities or just signs like seeing things that remind them of you all right just a few more Oh, all right. We have mute, nostalgia, and contemplation. So I'm definitely getting that this is a very, very specific message um, for those of you who are in no contact, all right? So if you are in communication, it doesn't mean that the rest of the reading won't resonate with you. This is just a particular message for those of you who um, are in no contact. Know that, <laughs> wow, yeah. 
your masculine is definitely having a lot of nostalgia for you, which actually I feel like this came up in the previous reading as well because it was in the title, so I'm pretty sure we either got this or something similar. Um, there's a lot of nostalgia here, all right? They're missing you, they're thinking about you, there's a lot of thinking about this. And I feel like, you know, one of the reasons why, like, you're just, like, really on the forefront of their mind at the moment is also in relation to their, um, solar plexus chakra opening up, being energized, and them wanting to be their authentic self. Like, there's no denial here. This is all about knowing what it is that they want and knowing how they feel. Okay. So let's see. Masculine's energy towards their karmic situation or partner. So I will just be pulling three from the top. All right, we have the Hermit in reverse, the Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Empress. Okay, so this is their overall energy. Um, yeah, with the Hermit being in reverse, I see them as coming out of some kind of an isolation, like where they were just keeping quiet. Um, to their, to their karmic partner, if it's a partner, okay, it doesn't matter if it's a situation, just apply it however it makes sense for you. Um, this, even with the seven of wands being in reverse, so this is them not being on the defense, not being defensive, not trying to hide, not trying to just avoid the situation, not being in isolation. And with the empress also being here, I'm getting that, I mean, because the empress to me represents the sacral chakra. So it's very interesting to me. This is them also um, feeling like, you know, just more confident within their own self. And not only that, I'm actually getting that for some of them, okay? Again, this is, this is just a specific message, again, just for a very small group of you, actually. I feel like a lot of them are not even, um, they're not trying to hide how they feel about their feminine to the karmic partner or to the karmic situation, however that makes sense for you, okay? Um, I'm not saying that they're necessarily talking about it or talking about you. They could be for some of you. Um, but that's not that's not the main message here. It's just that they're not even trying to hide this anymore because this is just how they feel it and they're feeling it so so strongly. Like I said, that nostalgia is just so so present at the moment. They're just and this is just overall like they're not defensive. Like when they see something that reminds them of you, like it, it's like they're noticing it more. Like they're not just bypassing it as a coincidence. It's like yeah, okay, wow, you know, it's kind of like that. They're not resisting the messages that they're getting from the universe or the signs. Okay, so let's see more specifically towards their karmic partner. What's going on in their headspace? What are they thinking? Nine of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. They're feeling like things are really out of balance because this situation, um, it's like a never-ending, oh my god, it's a never-ending nightmare. That's what I'm getting here. It's like a never-ending nightmare. Like, even though there are, um, for some of them, there are positives in this connection, obviously, right? There must be something um, that is positive. And of course there is. I mean, they're learning lessons if we see it from from afar or from a spiritual perspective, right? But even in the 3D, they're with this person for a particular reason or whatever the, the situation is. So even if that, whatever it is that's positive, it might not be, you know, beneficial for them, right? Um, and we can't judge that, right, <laughs> as well. But there is something that in their perception is positive, all right? So even though there are the positives, it still feels like a never-ending nightmare on some level. And I'm getting here that um, they really want to come out of that. They want to come out of that. They want they want that to end because it's really um, creating a um, instability within their own within their own self within their own minds. And so I'm getting that they're what they're thinking or what they're wanting is to pull back their energy to stop giving to this because they feel like um maybe in subtle ways they've been giving to it and just kind of 
perpetuating the cycle, perpetuating the never-endingness of it in, in small ways. Let me actually clarify this row real quick before we move on. the sun in reverse, the chariot in reverse, and the eight of wands in reverse. Yeah, they're really, okay, yeah, exactly. So they feel like they have been, like, the, there's little things that they do, um, actions that they take, things that they say, I don't know, whatever, that actually perpetuate this. It's exactly what I just said. So what they're wanting to do is to stop. It's like just figuring this out. It's kind of like some kind of a little um, aha moment or something where the things that they're doing, it just, it just continues to keep them in a state of unhappiness and in a state of turmoil in, in, in some way, unsettledness in their minds by being in this, but it's because they're also giving to this. And... So, yeah, they're wanting to pull back their energy big time here. With the Eight of Wands being in reverse and the Chariot being in reverse, that's, that's really pulling back their energy. Not wanting to give. Let's see. Oops, wrong deck. Um, let's see what they're feeling, and then we'll see what they're actually doing. So, let's see. What's going on with them emotionally here? The chariot in reverse again, the nine of cups in reverse, and the page of wands. They're all in reverse. We have so many reverse cards here. I feel like the only, yeah, the only upright card out of all of them, even the clarifiers included right now, is the empress card. That's it. And that's just for their general energy, just, just overall. Um, okay, wow. So yeah, emotionally they're feeling like things are getting out of control for them emotionally. Um, a very unfulfilled here with the Nine of Cups being in reverse. It's very plain and simple. Um, the clear cut messages and just no enthusiasm to move forward in this connection. I feel like we're not really getting anything new here. I feel like, you know, this is just, you know, this is how they're feeling. And not only that, like I said before, it's like they're not hiding it. They're not hiding it. They're building up that confidence um, that and that it's like wanting to gain that sense of control. They might feel like they're losing control, but I'm getting that they're actually not. All right, with that with that third chakra there, it's not. It's like they're gaining it because they lost it, because they felt like they didn't have control, and because they're aware of that, so they're putting in that effort to actually gain control. And the one way that that's playing out and what they're doing about that is pulling back their energy, at least not feeding into whatever this cycle is in the karmic situation. All right, so I feel like we pretty much got our answer for what it is that they're doing, but since I said I would get more, I will. We have the Knight of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Wow, okay, so finally getting the bright cards. And they're all romantic cards. Um, so I am going to clarify this because I actually feel like this is more towards their towards their feminine, but I want to see why it's showing up in the karmic situation here. Let's see. Why are these three cards here for what they're actually doing? Okay. <laughs> Makes more sense now. All right, we have the devil, the queen of pentacles in reverse, and the ten of wands. Okay, so... So for what they're actually doing, they're actually being sweet. Um, I don't see anything being um, very, um, you know, like being harsh or, you know, anything like that. So even though they're not... I feel like they're not hiding how they truly feel. Feel they're not, um, you know, in denial. They're for some of them, you know, they might not be trying to even hide, you know, how they're feeling about their feminine. Um, they, they're still coming across as being very, very sweet here. Um, however, this Knight of Cups, it's it's clarified by the devil. So I feel like you know this is just 
because they, they're like so accepting right now of how they actually feel um, that, how to explain this? It, it, it's like, it, it's like they're in this like, not a fantasy, but like just feeling like, yeah, you know, I mean, this is who I am, so it's fine. So, you know, I can be sweet about it. Um, but it's like they don't realize that, yeah, but not everyone is going to be accepting of that. Not everyone is going to be accepting of that. Um, and I feel like with the devil being here, it's like, it's gonna kind of work against them in a way, but in a way where it, it's okay. Like it should work against them because they're gonna need a different tactic. Um, they're not giving, as I said, to the situation, but they are, however, being um, very sweet. Possibly because they know they're pulling back. So it could even be related to guilt because there's something here with this devil. Like something about this, this like sweetness about them. It's, it's, it, it could be like in relation to fear as well. Fear of what the um, reaction will be at some point when their truth is fully uncovered. So yeah, um, here with the Six of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles being in reverse, right? This is representing the karmic partner or karmic situation. Yeah, they're, again, it, it's, to me, it's just coming off as, as being sweet. Like they're being, and it's not in any, it's not in a manipulative way though at all. Um, it's coming more from like just, um, it's like them being innocent, being, being genuine almost like, it's like so hard to explain. <laughs> it's like from the goodness of their heart, because this is somebody that at least for this group that I'm tapping into here, right? Like I said, there are positives, right? There is, there is some kind of love here. And so they're being sweet because like they're, they're not feeling the emotions for the, for this karmic partner, right? They're not. Um, they're feeling like, like I said, like it's this never ending nightmare kind of a thing. So it's almost as if they can't really put themselves in the karmic's position exactly. And so like naively, they're just being very like sweet, like everything's going to be okay. Like, you know, I just don't feel this anymore. They're not saying that, but that's kind of like their attitude. Almost like, I feel like it's almost like subconsciously trying to sweeten it up. Um, so that it doesn't come off as like this big deal or so that it's not harsh when more truth is revealed. It's like a mixture of all of these things. I know it's, it's, it's a little complicated, but that's sometimes how our psychology works. So hopefully you guys can make sense out of that. Um, however, it's like, <laughs> yeah, they're trying to like keep things normal as much as possible because it's like, they know that this truth is coming out. They know that they're not hiding how they feel so it's kind of like they have to like counterbalance that with some with some sweetness and with keeping things peaceful however what I'm getting here with this ten of wands though, is that that's actually becoming a little bit of a burden though like it's becoming a little heavy and I feel like the reason why is because well they're not going to get their point across in this way yes they should be compassionate you know they should be you know all of these things these positive things um respectful and you know all of that but like I said, you know, the devil is attached to this. I feel like this, this way it's not going to really work because they're being so sweet and it's just kind of not going to match like what they're, what's going to come out. And not that it's fake. It's not fake. It's just, it's going to feel contradictory to the, to the karmic person or situation, um, or people could be a group of people, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, that's what I had to say about that. All right, let's move on to the masculine's energy towards their feminine. Seven of Swords in reverse, the Page of Swords, and the Justice card in reverse. Okay, so their, their general energy here. Um, definitely wanting to become more authentic. I mean, Seven of Swords in Reverse and then the Page of Swords. They're definitely wanting to be more authentic towards their feminine as well. And I feel like their general energy here is pretty much the same thing I've been saying is that 
they're they're not hiding how they feel. Um, they might not be telling you straight out, but they're uh, they're not hiding it from themselves. Now, not only that, they're very interested in what is going on with you. Um, for a lot of them, they could be keeping an eye on you in some way. Um, for others, you know, you may have had communication. They may have communicated in whatever way, shape, or form. Um, because this is definitely a card of curiosity and of communication. Now, we do have justice in reverse here. So, whatever it is that they are doing, though, it's like it's still not like 100% in balance or it's not it's not enough it's not enough for it to match how they truly feel or for it to be it's not enough to make things right so to speak so you know if you had a fallout if you were in contact or anything like that you know there may have been some communication but it just wasn't enough to kind of bring balance into the situation um, I'm also getting that you know they're very much aware very very much aware of of the injustice that is being done here, especially to their feminine. Let's see what's going on in their headspace. The world in reverse, the tower, <laughs> and the Ten of Pentacles. All right, there's that tower. Yeah, I do. I do feel like, you know, things are getting tough here um, because timelines can be they're relevant. Right. So this could be something that's already happened or it could be something that's about to happen. It could be happening right now. I do get that for most of you. This is something that they're going through right now. Um, it's a big blow up here in terms of just their life in general and how it relates to their feminine. So you know, thinking that, feeling that, you know, they've left something unresolved, that this situation is not resolved. It's not where it needs to be. It's not, it hasn't had that success that they feel like, well, we should have success. You know, that we do need to complete this chapter in terms of this 10 of pentacles coming together and, you know, building that foundation and reaching that level of, you know, whether it be commitment, marriage, um, stability for the long term. Feeling that completion, that completion is not there. And that's very heavily on their minds. This is something that they're thinking that, yeah, you know what, this is, it's almost like they've been reminded of what their, of what their purpose was in terms of the connection with their feminine. And because of that reminder, they're having this tower moment. It's like realizing where they are right now, that they're not there. And that this is somewhere where they could have been, which maybe they couldn't have, though, because they were still learning the lessons and that's fine. But the tower is a part of that lesson to help them to get there. So definitely going through um, something really heavy right now in terms of you, especially in their headspace. I feel like their mind is really what is... Um, the heaviest right now, also judging from their energy towards their karmic. I mean, also feeling unfulfilled, obviously, right? As we said before, they're just not really acting like it. But I feel I have a feeling they are going to start acting like it because of that fifth chakra that is coming into play. All right, let's see the emotional aspect. towards their feminine, the two of cups, the four of cups, and the six of swords. There's a huge disappointment here um, emotionally. They're feeling disappointed. I feel like they're mostly feeling disappointed in their own self um, for either having walked away, having, um, if they've ghosted you, having tried to just move away from this, having tried to heal, um, or just, you know, trying to get over you or anything like that. Um, there's a lot of disappointment in their own self because what they're feeling here is this two of cups feeling like, you know, this is love. This is the person that I want to be with. And so there's um, a lot of disappointment here for having um, for having drifted apart or for having walked away or for, you know, whatever, just moving away from you. So, um, I don't really feel like I need to clarify anything, but I will just to be fair. So 
I just want one clarifier for each row. Let's get one clarifier for the top row. And we have the Three of Pentacles. All right, so I feel like this is especially in terms of justice being in reverse here. So yeah, definitely, you know, knowing that that they have not been putting in as much effort as you have, at least in the past, at least in the past, and knowing that this is not fair, that they have not worked with you as a team in order, you know, to, to reach that world card or to reach that 10 of pentacles to reach that completion with you to reach that success with you let's see that second row especially in terms of the tower and we have the three of cups in reverse yeah so they're going through this tower because you have not had this coming together pretty much yeah see I, I didn't need to clarify it's the same message um feeling yeah <laughs> it's it's big it's big it's a tower it's not just that little disappointment here like no it's the tower it, it almost feels like it's this and I just had the four of cups flip over again um what was i gonna say i don't remember it's okay Point is, they're going through a crisis right now for having this realization that the two of you are not together and that that is where they want to be. Let's see that bottom row and we have the five of swords. Yeah, feel. I mean, they feel like they've messed up big time. Um, feeling like they screwed, they screwed this up and that's why they're feeling so disappointed. Um, knowing that they, that they have betrayed you and the connection by moving away. Okay, let's see. Let's get a few cards for the feminines and then we'll see what's coming up. healer of the ages and we have door to value all right yeah okay so you've been healing you've been um i feel like actually like things like doors are opening up for you like there are things that you are doing and i feel like things are actually um coming into your life also to like occupy you also to help you to get on your to get on your path um some realizations that you might be having is you know what is what is it that is valuable in your life like what is worth keeping and what is worth not keeping in your life and this might sound like it's just something, you know, not that big of a deal, but it actually is. And it is a part of your of your healing, knowing what you deserve to have, what is worth to pursue and what is not. Let's see what else. Individuality. All right. This is so good, feminine, because this is you finding you. Um, this is you not being attached. And even if you still are a little bit, I mean, the fact that we're getting this card shows that you are not as attached though as you were. And I know I, I keep saying this, but it's just true. It's true in every reading. <laughs> All right, it's just like this ongoing process of you detaching, finding your individuality, finding who you truly are. And I feel like for a lot of you also becoming more comfortable with who you truly are. All right, so last set of Oracle cards just to keep it even, using the same ones I used for the masculines. All right, crossroads, barrier, and metamorphosis. Yeah, I feel like you're in the process of making certain decisions. Um, and actually what I'm getting with this barrier card is that you're breaking them down because we have the metamorphosis card. So here's what's different. It's like you have shifted or you are shifting. Things that were once a barrier, and I do feel like for a lot of you it was the masculine or the situation with your masculine that was serving as a barrier for certain decisions that you wanted to make. Um, that's not a barrier anymore because you're changing that. And I feel like we got this message, was it in the last reading or the reading before? Like something very, very simple similar to that. It, yeah, I'm pretty sure I said the exact same thing and it's coming out again. Um, 
you're just not allowing you're also not allowing your masculine's indecision like the masculine being at a crossroad you're not allowing that to be a barrier to you in whatever way like you're just like going on with your life um finding your individuality it doesn't mean that you don't have nostalgia it doesn't mean that you wouldn't still want your masculine all right um but it just means it's not serving as a barrier to you in the way that it was before so that's really really good okay let me just get a couple of tarot cards for the feminines and i will get more um more cards for the feminines in next week's reading which we don't have we don't really look into the karmic element three of pentacles in reverse the emperor in reverse and the nine of pentacles wow feminines okay if take this as encouragement as well um what i'm seeing here is that you know i mean the emperor here is is representing your your masculine and you know that they that they were not putting in that effort that they didn't give to you as much as you gave to them they didn't put in the effort it, it's like you were feeling like you know you did your part you did your share um but they didn't do theirs now i mean um i don't want to say if that's true or not because I don't want to undermine what you've done, definitely. But just in defense of the masculine, you know, they had certain lessons that they had to go through. Um, and it is true, you know, you may have put in more, right? The, the feminine usually is one step ahead anyway. Um, but yeah, point is, point is, is that you, you, that's not affecting you as much anymore, right? Nine of Pentacles, again, it's like that individuality card. Like, you're still moving forward and you're independent of that like the fact that they didn't do what you consider to be their part you know it's like that's not serving as a barrier to you anymore and it shouldn't and it shouldn't and if it does a little bit i mean that's okay that's okay i feel like you know for the most part though like it's not serving as much as a barrier as it was before so that's that's really good that's all i have to say for the feminines okay it was very um i feel like it was very on the surface this time around just very general very simple but can't be deep every time right <clears throat> we'll see what we get in the next one so let's see what is coming up next couple weeks for the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation The Three of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Wands, and the Five of Wands. Ooh, okay. Things are going to get a little shaky. Things are going to get a little shaky. Um, and I'm not sure if this is, like, what I've been talking about for, like, the past month or so, like, this tower building. I actually feel like it's kind of, it's, like, here. For some of them, they may have already gone through it, actually, and maybe, like, it wasn't meant to come through in the cards just for whatever reason. That can happen, too, all right? We're not meant to know everything. Um, or it could be coming up for some of them here because what I'm seeing here, there's like with the eight of wands, something, it, it's like something's going to happen really, really quickly. Um, I do feel like it's going to be like something in terms of heartbreak, except without the masculine feeling the pain, like there is no pain, but there is going to be big time communication here and it's leading up to like an argument or tension. So I feel like that, yeah, that fifth chakra, it's like still building that third chakra, the confidence to talk is still building the yeah, other not hiding it but like i said they're being kind of sweet right now so i feel like that's not gonna work right we have the devil here and so that's just going to lead to them actually um wow eight of wands like big big conversation that's yeah it's going to be the opposite of <laughs> that sweetness um it's not going to keep the peace actually and again you know that's something that needs to happen as well and that's fine so i do feel like they are going to um have some kind of conversation here that's going to lead to quite a bit of conflict all right let's see their energy towards their feminine We keep getting this three of pentacles we've gotten it in like almost every deck <laughs> all 
All right, three of pentacles in reverse, the two of pentacles in reverse, and the devil. All right, yeah, it's whatever is happening here in terms of their karmic, it's going to affect them in terms of their feminine as well. Um, so if you are in contact, you might be able to pick up on that. I feel like the masculine is either going to be very irritable, um, not very, um, what's the word? Just not very cooperative or just like you won't feel like you can actually like make any sense with them. Um, if you do talk to them, if you don't, like this is just their, their energy right now. It's like still holding back a little bit, um, with that three of pentacles being in reverse, like still not really um doing something towards you the two of pentacles also being in reverse it they do feel like they cannot handle it though like it's kind of like building this irritability is going to build um big time for them and then you know i feel like it's going to blow up with this devil's energy here like they're just going to really um almost like feel the worst of themselves in some way um, I feel like this is going to be actually a lot of fear that's going to come that's going to come up and it's going to be related to feeling like they're going to lose you or that fear of you know what never having that ten of Pentacles, never having that two of cups that this world will always be in reverse. in other words that you know this will never come to like some sort of a completion together. So that's actually going to create um, a lot of a lot of fear, almost like they're going to feel it like an obsession or like like an, a big time attachment to you. And it's not going to be easy for them to handle it. It's actually going to be very, very difficult for them to handle. And this can play out in many ways. Um, for some of you, yes, there might be communication for others. Of you, others of you, there might not be. Um, it really just depends. So, yeah, I might just do a separate reading for those of you who are in no communication. All right, so let's see. Yeah, sorry to leave it off like that, but that's what that's what we're getting here. I have a feeling that devil, whatever that is, it's going to play out in the next reading. All right, so let's see. Final messages for those of you that this might have resonated for. We have to be fair. I love this card. It's like the justice card um, and the fates. Yeah, this is definitely talking about um, justice. This is talking about um, karmic balance, the fates, like what is meant to happen or like, you know, the path that they are meant to be on, their life purpose, their, you know, their soul purpose, their soul goals for this life. And especially in terms of this connection, like spirit wants you to know that this is all like in line, right? It's coming into alignment. Things are going to balance out. Um, there is going to be karmic justice and you know, things are still in this path. Like no matter what we see here, like this is all just a part of that, a part of getting there. So yeah, just know that. I feel like, you know, they're just going through this <laughs> difficult part right now. So yeah, that is it. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, do give me a thumbs up if this resonated. Leave me a comment if you would like, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Much love.